Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 15 day of October, being Saturday, and with 28, in all that time of the church calendar year, she. Today, the mother church celebrates St. Elizabeth of Avila, virgin and daughter of the church. And read this, we will be coming from St. Paul, letter to Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 15 to 23. A response to Psalm will come from Psalm 8, verse 6a. A gospel message will come from Luke Gospel, chapter 12, verse 8 to 12. The theme of our message today is acknowledging God before men. Acknowledging God before men means witnessing for God before men. How do you acknowledge God before men? By witnessing for him. By witnessing for him with your life, with your whole being, with your thought, your word, your actions, your dressing, everything witnessing for God. That means you acknowledge him before men. You see, if you acknowledge me before men, I will acknowledge before the angels of God in, in heaven. If you acknowledge him in the presence of men, then deny him, you will acknowledge him in the presence of angels in heaven. That was the promise to all of us today. And we are called to acknowledge him. Not these days we want our shame to acknowledge that we have our Lord Jesus Christ as a Lord and Master. Well, many of us are ashamed of it. We don't even want the symbol or signs of our faith in Him. But let that we are doing lady to witness for any other thing that is not Christ. And witness for the world, witness for courtism, witness for paganism, or called traditional religion, but not for God, our Lord Jesus Christ. I will say, when you deny me, I will deny you in the presence of my angels in heaven. If you acknowledge me, I will acknowledge you in the presence of my angels in heaven. And I want to make it clear today, all of us today, you see, these days we are spending greater energy denying God, not acknowledging him. We are ashamed even to be called Christian. This or something even deny our faith to us to get job, worldly things, earthly things, or position in a, in a, in a pagan community or in a, a courty community or in a Kaaba community, you deny our faith. You deny Christ. You fail to acknowledge him. Or in face of threat or persecution, you deny him. Instead of acknowledging him. And now I was telling them, try to acknowledge God in all situations. Don't be ashamed about it. If you do that, it will equally do the same to you. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But any blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is not forgivable. You committed the turn of sin. Yes. You can blaspheme against the Son of Man. You are forgiven. But against the Holy Spirit, no. So be careful about that. And now why he's telling all of us today, when they bring you before the governors, the kings, and every other thing before the synagogue, rulers, and authorities, don't be anxious of what you will speak. Since you are acknowledging me in the presence of men, I'll send the spirit of my spirit of God will speak in you, not you speaking. Don't be anxious of what you will say, or how to say. The spirit of the, fa the Father, who you witness for, will witness for you, will teach you that hour what you ought to say. You see, you acknowledge God and you are persecuted. You have been taken to anything. Don't worry. God is by your side to defend you. That means acknowledging you. So don't deny God today so that if you deny me, we deny you. If you acknowledge me, we acknowledge you. Before his angels. That's why I say, when you are said, be persecuted, don't worry. Don't be anxious how to defend yourself. Send your own spirit to do it in you. You see the essence of witnessing for him, acknowledging him in the presence of men. And now why today, Paul today is praising the Ephesians, acknowledging them or praising them for acknowledging God in the presence of men. 
And Paul said, because I've heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have love towards all the saints. You see, the, by doing this, you're acknowledging the, 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 glory of the kingdom of God. You're acknowledging God. Loving the saints. And having faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. I do not cease to give thanks. You see, that's why it become, you become a source of thanksgiving to God. So Paul said, I will thank unto thank God for you and remembering you in my prayers. A God of your Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom. You see, when you acknowledge God, God will then give you more, more gifts. And that's what Paul is praying for the Ephesians today, that God should give them, they give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. Having the eyes of your heart enlightened, and you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glory, glorious inheritance in the sense? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power in us who believe? See, that, that is praying that more things will come into you when you acknowledge him. I'm praying for that more graces upon you. It's according to the work of his great might, which he accomplished in Christ, when he raised him up from the dead and made him to sit at the right hand in the heavenly places. You see? You will come to know the glory of the person who you have acknowledged, you have acknowledged before men. You will come to make you to know more about him. So to acknowledge him the more, even to the point of martyrdom. And that's why he said, for above all rule, he, the one you who acknowledge before men is above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name that is named, not only in the age, this age, but also in, in that which is to come. And he had put all things under his feet and had made him the head of all things, the church. You see, have made in the head of heaven. That is the person you want to, uh, God, Paul is telling you, you acknowledge. He's praying that you come to understand them. The person you acknowledge before men. And he's the head of the church, which is the body. The fullness of him fulfills, who fills all in all. Sometimes you say the church cannot save you. The body of Christ cannot save you. What will save you? you? Don't even know the your lack knowledge of what church is all about. And now, when the Sabbath who understood today the need for us to acknowledge God before men and in our lives, in everything we are doing, not de denying Him, said, You have given your son power over the works of your hands. You see, when you acknowledge Him, He gives you the power over the works of your hand. You have authority of God, you have the power of God in you. May God help us. And now, what today we're celebrating St. Teresa of Avila. St. Teresa of Avila is a Spanish woman, girl, who joined the Camerais at the age of 20. And when he joined the Camerais, he was living a mediocre type of religious life. And by the grace of God, he decided, resolved to pursue intense holiness of life. I pursued it and got it. That he has this God giving this mystical revelation about God. And he has deep insight to the great doctrines of the church, the highest doctrines of the church. Give him insight to that. And he's one of the great mystics of his own time. And not only that, he wrote a great work wrote a great work on doctrines and insight into spiritual life. How I call the doctor of the church. His great insight into the work of the spirit of, life, spirit of life and about the doctrines of God. And he influenced a lot of people. He undertook the reformation of the Camerites. A day by St. John of the Cross. 
And God gave him a special faith and grace to stand out in all trials and difficulties and maintain his balance, maintain her balance. Now one of the more churches celebrating her today, a great woman of the church. Influencing a lot of people. Who to, may know, know leading her autobiography became Christians, turned to Christ Christ. Like a distant who later became Saint, Saint Teresa of the Cross. And all things like that, for example, she acknowledged God in the presence of the man. And God acknowledged her in the presence of his agents in heaven and revealed many glory of things for him as Paul prayed for the Ephesians. May God help us all today to acknowledge our God in all situations, in our thoughts, words, and in our dresses and relationship. We ask through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate our privilege to acknowledge God in our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.